Huawei's EMUI 11 is currently in beta and we thought we'd show you guys some of the things that we've noticed so far that build on EMUI 10. To really understand the difference, we've got two Huawei P40 Pro devices, one with EMUI 10 and one with EMUI 11 beta. At face value, you don't notice much of a difference, but there's small things Huawei's done. For example, animations are a bit different and your experience within applications is more optimized for usage. Now, these changes aren't the most visual, but a few that are is what this video is going to be focusing on. First up, it's that always on display. It's seen a massive revamp with display style preferences. You could do that on EMUI 10, but on EMUI 11, it's way more intuitive. You have a lot more customization with styles and even live styles with different colors, as well as the phone being able to choose a color palette based off of a picture. This sort of minute customization is nice to see and is a starting point for another big difference, which comes with multitasking. You can use smart multi window on EMUI 11 and truly take advantage of multiple applications all running simultaneously. Applications can float, minimize and adjust your preferences with a nice UI to back that. This functionality, especially resizing and floating windows, isn't new if you compare it with other software, but it wasn't on EMUI 10, so that comes as another big difference. With every Huawei software update, there's more emphasis on device collaboration, and for people who are heavily invested in Huawei's ecosystem, they can really benefit. Multi-screen collaboration, for instance, now supports up to three floating windows simultaneously, which sort of pushes productivity to a new level. You can interact between your smartphone and your Huawei PC to take advantage of sync between the devices, which is a big deal for professionals these days if you want to sort of transfer data or transfer your pictures very, very quickly. In line with this, the Notepad application has also seen a revamp, working alongside with other Huawei devices, but you can now also use it to scan your documents documents and share your notes via a word file for cross collaboration. So those are the major changes and differences we've noticed so far with EMUI 11 beta. It's not much, but the incremental changes do have the ability to alter your workflow. We can still expect a few new features to arrive with the software's full release, but that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching and do subscribe for more coming up. This was Vabov and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.